All right, so this is why I saved. You know that, that that's why I wanted my karma so that you know. So this is what I'm talking about. Like that go hard to the third one. Now the next one turns into packer bags, and we just got one mana packer bags. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Viego Karma, our newest spooky Karma deck list. We're going to be playing it with the new champion, Viego. And we got some other new cards in here. Basically what I wanted to do was try a go hard deck, um, you know, playing this uh, spell that used to be all over the place, but go hard with pack your bags and it's a slow spell. And I'm going to be combining that with Scattered Pod that this is a new six mana five six that you get to choose whether you want to draw a slow spell a fast spell or a burst spell whenever you play it um and so therefore it's the go hard is going to be our only slow spell in the deck all of our other spells are fast or burst and so therefore we can just have that go ahead and just draw a go hard for us that's going to help us uh, get to multiple go hards and to pack your bags and and all that kind of stuff and it has the attune mana that it also whenever you play it so you know for we can play a zero mana go hard whenever we uh play this card so i thought that could be pretty cool so i wanted to want to put that combo together and decided to go with viego and karma these are both two champions that do really well in the late game viego does a good job of slowing the game down uh, especially you know with like the hydra vines and the the camera foreign soldiers and stuff like that so it can slow the game down help us get enlightened because when we have enlightened karma all of our spells are are doubled and Go hard is a great card to have doubled, you know, because then you're, uh, you know, when you play this, it's two copies immediately. And once you cast it three times, then it turns into pack your bags. So like, let's say you've played two go hards um, and you play a go hard that's enlightened with karma. And then the first one, like, so basically it will copy it. And like the first one will uh, be a regular go hard, but then the second copy will then turn into the pack your bag. So you'll actually be able to like spend one mana and get a pack your bags. So that's pretty cool. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're kind of combining those things together and seeing how we do. Spirit's Refuge seems like an awesome card to go along with Viego because Viego gets really large when you have a bunch of things die. And so we're going to have Spirit's Refuge to help that out. Um, let's see. Retreat Return. Retreat Return, pretty awesome with the Camivore and Soldier. Getting another Encroaching Mist. Burst Speed. Bring that in with the encroaching mist and we'll have a sonic wave that also for like the mist to challenge stuff or the dragonlings challenge stuff both of these are ways to get two spells for for eye of the dragon and for deep meditation so let's get to it let's let's try it out let's play some viego karma yeah we just played that uh ash leblanc deck yesterday and so yeah you've been playing that and really liking it cool you saw it Awesome, glad that that LeBlanc Ash deck working out well for you from yesterday. Cool, cool. Okay, so we got Sivir LeBlanc. Definitely keeping the Soldier. Sending these back. And I think I'll send the Refuge back. But I don't know, I kind of want to keep the Refuge. Like, the Refuge on the Soldier can kill... It. Like, it's going to be really diff... I'm going to keep Refuge. Like, Sivir... Sivir's really difficult to kill. A barrier can help. And plus, we had to play Spooky Karma again this with game. this new Karma. We also got a new Karma emote. That's pretty spookified. We had the Spooky Sounds board. And wins behind me. We got our Spooky Dragling to go along with our Eye of the, Dra Eye of the Dragon. Alright, playing the, the Soldier so that the Mist takes up the Roiling... Uh, Sands. If it's medicine, I can light it. I'll just save the spell mana. I hate having to put my face on. Hmm. Two mana. The order rewards the thing. What a treat. I go, 
I go! Watch your head. I think this should work. I'm hoping it does. Because we are behind. Okay. Well, that should help us out a little bit. Finally, a go hard. Let's go ahead and play that. Because, yeah, like all these things, like these are very good go hard targets. I like that they're passing. I'm definitely considering just taking the pass. I only waste one mana, they waste four, and so then I kind of catch up. I I think I'm gonna just take this pass. Elola asks, what champions would you buff? I know what I'm worth. I wanna play Viego, but if they have Let's see, so they have to have like a vulnerable card. I guess they could just play like a bloody business, but you know, so I have the twin disciplines to go along with it. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Or death for all who leave. Ooh, yeah, I'd buff Braum. Braum really cool. Um, I don't know. Uh, Katarina? Yeah, I would definitely buff Katarina. I would make it so, like, Katarina's level 2 also costs 3 mana instead of costing 4. I really don't think that that makes that card broken or anything like that. That is something I would definitely change. Um, okay, so if I Withering Whale... Kind of wonder, I was thinking about, like, Withering Whale first for getting the draglings. I, I do kind of want to start getting these draglings. I don't know. The dark beckons. Yeah, Katarina having a different champion spell could be kind of nice. Observe the price of ambition. The order rewards its fate. What's behind the store, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. So we're at 18. Um, I don't know. So basically, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been focused here on the game. I, I would have to really go through and look at the list, to be honest, and, um, you know, to really determine what kind of stuff to buff. I'm not exactly sure. I, I I need to go through and look. I don't have, like, besides the Katarina for sure, um, but I don't really have anything else off the top of my head. But probably, like, Maokai, Nocturne, maybe Leona, maybe Diana. I don't know, like, that. those kind of, you know, just champions that don't see play very much. I know this... This maybe incentivizes them to play the Awakening Sands, but I want to get rid of the spell shields before... And I want them to know that the spell shields are gone. So I want them kind of scared of not having spell shields. But that doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Uh, somebody in chat says, like, Aurelia. I wouldn't necessarily just, like, buff champions that just got nerfed, that that were, you know, all over the metagame beforehand. I would probably... Yeah, so, like, this needs to be challenging first. 
I would focus more on champions that haven't been at the top of the metagame in a long time. Yeah, they... <clears throat> they need to have this challenge happen first. So I don't get the encroaching mist. go hard. Um, so I want to play two spells, and I want to play Karma and Eye of the Dragon. So this would be two... Seven, ten. One mana short from being able to do all that. Yeah, one mana short from being able to do all that. Alright, let's see what cards I draw first. Okay. I need them to play something before. Oh, okay. Spirit's Refuge could really help. But I really want them to play something before attacking. That's what I was really hoping for. Please play something first. No. 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 There, I figured it out. Okay. So right now, that's only negative one. So I think I go with the refuge on this thing. Oh, that's still negative one. Probably not negative one anymore. Nope. We each hold the world within. First let the blood, then stop the heart. Alright, so this is why I saved You know that, that that's why I won my karma is so that you know so this is what I'm talking about, like that go hard to the third one. Now the next one turns into packer bags and we just got one mana. Packer bags. They still have the attack token. They can use like Waking Sands to kill either one of my champions. But they'll that'll do it. So that's why I wanted them to play something before attacking, right? Because if they would have done it, if they would have played something before attacking, I was gonna have the Packer bags with the level of Karma, and that's why I played Karma. on round nine, so GG's. That was pretty sweet. Lissandra Talia. Okay, what do we got against some thralls? Probably not a lot. With Eye of the Dragon, I'm worried about 
having two spells around, like, to actually get the Draglings with keeping it. But it's not a bad card, and, like, the Draglings can really help out if we do have them. I'm going to send it back, though. I don't know. That could that could easily be a mistake. I, I can... I can hear it. Really good start for them. Turbo start. Hoping it's just one singular 8-8 eight eight and isn't, isn't double from Promising Future or from... Man, that is a start. Hopefully it's not doubled from Promising Future or Talia. But that's the best possible one, two, three. That's pretty nice. I'm just stacking there. Alright, so made a, made a spider so we could kill the spider, so that therefore we will grow Viego. And the Viego's everywhere. Oh, right, we are 1 0 currently, thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna go walk. Now it's a 9-6. Speed of 15. I could go to 13 and keep this thing a 9-8. Kind of like that. Let's see. I'm drawing two cards for sure. I hear her calling for me. All right, actually, I'm going to make it so, like, this soldier doesn't die to Avalanche or uh, this is a round start. I guess they have two of those things. Oh no. Yeah, alright, well. Not bad. The spirit gives to those who listen. Oh man, I just got punished. Kindly Tavern Keeper, uh, because I my plan here was Withering Whale and Go Hard, right? But I need to get like the extra mana for like the Go Hard to be able to do both of those. Uh I just got punished. GG's. That obliterate my Viego. 
was a killer. GG's. Alright, we're one on one. I am not prepared for that matchup, you right? Like, I just haven't seen that deck in a, in a while. In the last, you know, week or so, I just haven't played against it, and I'm not prepared for that matchup. That is definitely a Ruination matchup. 100%. All right, we're back to the first one that we played against. So we're still going to be tricky. Those two cards definitely gone. Good. I like to go hard in the Withering Whale because, they, you know, they have, like, the same kind of hand they had last time with a bunch of 2-1s and 3-1s right away. Quick hands make quick work. Keep that life total up at 20. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. This gets underneath um, Rock Hopper. So do I use Twin Disciplines and save it? Or let it die? There are Awakening Sands. Okay. They're doing that to trade with the Eye of the Dragon. Alright, that's fine. That Eye of the Dragon is going to be vulnerable until the end of days. Which can really make life more difficult. Definitely, I would have, I would have blocked if I could have. I would, have, I would have definitely had my two one block there four three and put that down to one health. But of course, with that fearsome, I've got a price. not allowed to block. Only have one withering whale in the deck. I just don't think it's a great withering whale meta game right now. So only have one in the deck. Uh, playing that right there just basically uses my mana better. Yeah, these things are really difficult for control decks to deal with. That's why... Uh, that's why these decks are doing so good. Certainly be useful. They gotta be scared of Packer Bags, right? Scared of a fair fight? Yeah, you'd think they'd have to be scared of Packer Bags. But the problem is so if I play Deep Meditation, they get to play more things out and then open an attack with even more things. I'm not liking this Black Spear right now, how it's not enabled all the time. I'm really wishing this was just Grasp of the Undying. That was, you know, like, this was, like, the last card in the deck, this Black Spear. Really wish it was just Grasp of the Undying or something else. So that's why I don't think that I can really play the Deep Meditation, because I feel like if I play Deep Meditation, they then unload two or three other attackers and then open attack with all that stuff. It's too late for you. Alright. 
Getting cards out of their hand. My best play right here is Hydrovine. That's my best play. The worry of Hydrovine... The, the reason I'm worried about Hydrovine is bloody business. I think I'm just going to play it, though. It's, it's my best play. Can't play around everything all the time. Hope they don't have bloody business. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's really unfortunate. Okay, a new Hydrovine? Because if I play Pack Your Bags... Yeah, I can't, I can't Pack Your Bags. We die. Yeah, this is the play. Places to go. People to be. The reason not to attack would because they get to level up LeBlanc or get closer to leveling up LeBlanc. They played it really well, though. They played around like Pack Your Bags really well, and they, they had the, um, like, both of those fight spells certainly helped out. I am in a lot of trouble. Black Spear, Black Spear has also kind of cost me this game of Black Spear just not being enabled all the time. I could have, maybe, like, instead of playing the, you know, I could have Black Speared instead of playing the Hydrovine the, the first time. The second time, I'd I didn't have the option, but like the first time. I guess maybe that was the better way to go. I just, I played into the bloody business. And if they don't have bloody business, I'm looking great. If they do, because if they don't have bloody business, then they have, they have to play more things to get around these. And so that whenever they play more things, then we have packer bags. They probably have to be worried about like Withering Whale. Yep. It's too bad. Oh, that bloody business won that game. I whisper truth into lies. Hindsight's just always twenty twenty, right? Like, I've, you know, I just play the pack your bags there. Don't worry about it. I don't know. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. Okay, so we did make one change. That Black Spear just looked really bad. And so I took it out and put in a Concussive Palm. So we do have a Concussive Palm in here. One copy over that Black Spear. I think I like this hand. I think I'm going to keep. So there also a Viego deck with Ionia. Going with a different champion. See, they got protection. Fool's in. Likely do, but even if they, you know, hopefully it's not Notify. Because hopefully we get the draggling. Okay, it's not Notify. So we'll still get the draggling. Breathe out. 
Liberty with the raid. Welcome everybody from Liberty Stream. We're playing some cool new Sentinels of Light decks. We're cu we're currently playing a uh, kind of spooky. All right. Spooky Karma Viego deck. We got Gohards in here. We have this Scattered Pod that can tutor up Gohard, which this is the very first time that we've drawn the Scattered Pod. Yeah, I love Cam this Camavoran Soldier with Retreat Return. That's a definitely a really cool interaction. We have that in our deck as well. Please, no, Viego. Just do something else. Oh, no. Because now, of course, they get to... This is kind of cool how, like... So, like, that, that eph Ephemeral dies at the round end, which then has this put into play, but then it gets just... It's kind of weird. It's just, like, the next round, now this is just in play, and so now this thing's going to die this round. I don't know. It's... It's kind of weird. But that's, I guess, how that works. Yeah, I gotta go with the Spooky Karma skin. Okay. We got Absorb Soul. Meh. So we need to try to kill... Diego. Well, that's unfortunate. Opponent's deck looks really solid. Hi, the dragon Zed, Diego. Their deck looks really good. I think they've also had a very good hand, but it, it looks very good. I really wish I had a Viego. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So I'm playing Karma here basically because Karma creates the random spell from our regions at the end of round. Our hand is not very good. I want that random spell pretty bad. Doing this so I am able to. Oh, man. Yeah, they had a really good hand. Lots of champions. Doing this so I can get the other draggling. Oh, you're welcome, Ipe Scream. Very glad. So I watched your guides for the labs on YouTube and they were very helpful. Awesome. Really glad that I could help with those. Glad here. We've played two go hards right now. We need uh, we need to find another, but the scatter pod can help with that. But as you can tell, Viego just getting completely out of hand. Small minds know only action without purpose. We need to find removal for Viego. Oh, is this thing is this about to level up? Oh, it's gonna just level up and alright, the game's over. Never mind. Yeah, Viego just wins that game. We have learned as much as we have suffered. Very good hand opponent. That 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 looked awesome of like round two I I the dragon, round three, Zed, get to retreat, return the Zed and put in a Camavoran soldier, play another Camavoran soldier, play Viego. I 
I like the the much cheaper champion to go along with Viego. I think that that's a, a good pairing for Viego of having like the three mana champion. This card is gone, but I, all the rest of these, right against. So we're playing Karma as. We're gonna want to have. Like, I like Retreat Return against Ezreal. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to level up Ezreal. And I like Deep Meditation. This kind of matchup this is going to be a slower a slower game. Yeah, they also get the, ephemer yeah, the Ephemeral Synergy with, like, Zed putting in the Ephemeral thing that dies for Viego. And, of course, the Eye of the Dragon with the Ephemerals with Viego. Their deck really worked... Perfectly. <laughs> Everything worked perfectly that game. Um, I said I said that I put it in the one Concussive Palm, because I do like the concuss Concussive Palm, but seeing how well that... I think I'm just going to let this happen. Sorry, seeing how well that... Um, what's it called? That Will of Ionia looked against my Karma. Maybe I should have a one of Will of Ionia. It can, Will of Ionia is good against Viego and, and how it can reset it. As well. Yeah. Let's go through. Yeah, and Zed's just a really, really strong card. If you can't answer Zed, it's gonna take over. And like with that, um, with Ioni, you have like that twin disciplines now. That twin disciplines buff was really good for Zed. This is my favorite hand that we've had out of the five games. I think this is the best hand that we've had. I, I really like like this retreat return, the Sonic Wave right now. I should probably just be giving this soldier the plus two plus zero in case of twin disciplines, I guess. That's probably pretty greedy of me not giving it the plus two plus zero. Cool. That's alright, took out an Ezreal. I'll take it. We haven't really had... I, I like Hydrovine a, a lot. I think Hydrovine looks really good when you play it, but we haven't really had it very much. I think that's kind of been a problem. I, I wish I would have had Hydrovine more than what I have had. So I do have the Retreat Return to protect Viego right now, or I can just simply wait the one round and then have more protection for the Viego. Right. I'm taking the pass. I only use one mana. They waste a lot more mana. Again, this matchup isn't really necessarily about getting two damage in. I think that they're... They were likely... Like, maybe they wanted to play a champion and they're scared of... Like, after seeing that challenger spell, they could be scared of that. And didn't want to play it. Quick pass. I got Viego plus one protection with one deny. Or I just go with the scatter pod. Hmm. The whole world will know and then I don't know, like, so usually, so I have the scatter pod to grab, go hard at slow. But this isn't really a very good go hard matchup. So maybe I just go grab, like, faster burst. Instead, fast, I would have like Vile Feast, the Concussive Palm, Deny, and the, the one Withering Will and some Vengeance. And then Burst, I'd have the other Deep Meditation, the other Spirit's Refuge, Twin, and three Twin Disciplines. So, it would most likely be Twin Disciplines. I think I'd rather have a Twin Disciplines than a Go Hard. No, I don't feel like every card that costs six or more is unplayable. No, I don't I don't believe so.
All right, I'm gonna save. It's a good spot for the refuge. I will save the deny. Surrender to me. Cannot hide. I guess I'll just attack and kind of see what happens. And you know, then be able to see what we want to do with the scatter pod. That's two targets for Ezreal, and they draw a card. I don't, that's the thing I don't love is the two targets for Ezreal. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to go with this Retreat Return, basically because the Retreat Return is going to allow me to have the Draggling next round, which is going to be very useful for the Viego. Um, having the Ephemeral. Alright, now we get an, get an ephemeral that will die. Where there is life, there is hope. Man, I feel just like my opponent last game. My opponent last game had Viego and Viego's despair to kill my karma. And now it fast forward around, now it's us doing that. Okay, so again, round end, Ephemeral dies, we put in Encroaching Mist for a dying. I don't really understand how it works like this, but then round end has already happened, so the Ephemerals don't die again. So now those can attack like normal. So they can still play Karma. If I play Viego, they get to play Karma. I'm not sure I want that to happen. But it would mean that I don't get to play anything at all. I guess I let them have Karma. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I let them have Karma. Cool. No karma. Hydravine! I don't know, this could be weird. I guess that could be weird. Hey, Mayor. Uh, looks like we're getting this game. We gotta keep this 2-3 streak going. But Karma and Ezreal is a deck that is designed to, you know, be okay whenever they're behind. They play a lot of defense, so it's not, it's not over. Drawn, they've been kind of chilling here, drawing a lot of cards. Caped Baldi Sensei! 
Thank you so much. I guess it's Sensei, isn't it? Sensei, thank you so much. Thanks for that resub for months. I appreciate it. All right, so my option was basically slow to grab go hard or burst to grab most likely twin disciplines. Uh, fast, if I would have grabbed deny, would have been great, but fast most likely was going to be... Um, was likely going to be the Vile Feast. And, of course, I wanted to do that to, you know, play this thing, keep seven mana available so I could kill Karma. Killing Karma, always important. They kill my big Aluso. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey, that's a deny. I guess I just attack. I don't know exactly how they're gonna how they're gonna handle this. Okay, I guess that plus a deny. We'll force them to have a deny or another will. They do not. Alright, good game. Keep that 2-3 streak going with Diego Karma. I will take back what is mine. All of it. Alright, so there we go. Um, yeah, Will look, Will did look pretty good against, like, these Viego decks. Maybe Will of Ionia is kind of the way to go. Scatterpod did look okay, but not, like, spectacular. Not, like, I don't think Spe Scatterpod's even as good as Hydrovine, honestly, for, like, this kind of deck. I think that I would just kind of recommend not playing the, the Scatterpod. And, honestly, the, the Withering Whale didn't look that good either. Withering Whale was basically just, like, five mana bust up some spell shields, but it's so, so much mana... I would want to. I do want to play a third Hydrovine. I think that like that's a, a great way to um, control the board and, and uh, stabilize the board. So I want another one of those. And I don't know about Concussive Palm. I didn't love Concussive Palm. Uh, well, I don't know. Concussive Palm's fine. But I do want some. I do want some more of these early things. Like we had Sonic Wave and Retreat that game, and I think the Sonic Wave and Retreats are honestly pretty important. I liked. I liked both of those quite a bit. And they're, they're just like cheaper cards. They allow us to double spell. Um, I really liked those cards. I think we needed some more ways to have some cheaper cards. So maybe... Uh, so maybe like another copy of each, honestly. I could... Yeah, I kind of just want two of each of these. I, I just like wanted those cards quite a bit. The Sonic Wave is great with the Draglings and with the Encroaching Mist, and it uh, helps you get, you know, both of these help us get more Draglings, and getting Draglings is important, and Retreat Return is amazing with both the Soldier and the Assassin, and also helps you get Dragons. I kind of want another copy of each of those. Also, if we do play Concussive Palm, Retreat Return with Concussive Palm, pretty good. But with that being said, I think I'd probably want a... No, not Homecoming. Um... I don't know. Do we want Will of Ionia? Because Will of Ionia is much better against Viego, of like you know, put it, of resetting that level up. Because Viego level up is is pretty rough. Yeah, let's just get Will of Ionia in here. I could say playing two and one of these. But the thing is, like Sonic Wave can can help you kill like Sivir and Ruin Runner. Those things with the spell shield, because you can even you know like put that on your Shadow Assassin, and. Shadow Assassin with the Sonic Wave and the Resonating Strike and go kill a Sivir or a Ruin Runner. Yeah, you could Will of Ionia your own thing, like your own Eye of the Dragon, Soldier, Shadow Assassin, like that kind of stuff. You could if you had to. It's kind of rough to Will of Ionia your own Karma or Viego. Um, so I don't know. Either Will of Ionia or Concussive Palm, whichever one, whichever one you like more, feel free to play it there. Um... Yeah, whichever one you want more. I guess I'd still go with the palm, but yeah, yeah, you. The problem is Viego. I right, let's go Will. I don't know whichever one you want. But I would recommend doing this, and I think this could be some good upgrades on there. We were, we played a lot of close games, right? Like even even though we only went two and three, I think I was pretty impressed with our deck, to be honest. 
played some cl close games. I think that that one matchup against Sivir LeBlanc that I lost, I think that that one could have been a win. Uh, that was a difficult one, and it was, you know, all hindsight. But hindsight, if I, uh, you know, don't play the Hydra Vine, I played into the bloody business. If I don't play into the bloody business, I think we could have maybe had a, you know, we could have won that. Um, but I, th I think this is going to really help out, to be honest. The uh, kind of makes the deck less clunky, gets rid of like that five, that five mana Withering Whale really didn't do anything the whole time. Wasn't too impressed with that card. It's just not a great Withering Well matchup. Or, sorry, uh, metagame. So, so give this a try. Give this a try. If you like playing Karma, like playing Spooky Karma, want to try Karma and Viego, I'm very happy with this list. Um, and let me know what you think of 2 Retreat, 2 Sonic Wave, because I think that these are, are cards that look weird when you just look at them, like, in the deck list. They don't look great, but whenever you actually play the games, they actually, like, do a whole lot and they they perform really well like we saw like that last game like we the, you know like last game was the only time we had either retreat or sonic wave i think but i remember that we uh you know got to retreat or sorry sonic wave the soldier to kill an ezreal and you know like that's big right kill it just killing an ezreal you gotta kill champions so so give this a try all right anyway that's going to be it here for karma uh viego those y'all watching later on youtube again uh, leave those comments. I really want to hear what you think of this updated list and how the retreat and the Sonic Wave do. Um, you know, I'd, I'd really love to hear. It. And you know, like basically, do y'all want to see this again with like the these new cards and stuff? Um, you know, how how does it how's it looking? How's it working out? All right, but thank you so much for watching some Viego Karma, and I'll see you for the next video.